Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. My name is Faz and in this video we will be creating this beautiful React JS project. As you can see we have this nav bar. Then we have this banner with the doctor and these two CTA buttons. In the next section we have services with this hover effect. Also we have a doctor's component and then the health partners with these logos. Moving on, we have facilities component with these two images, some text and a button. We also have a testimonials component and then finally a footer. We will be building this beginner friendly project from completely scratch. If you like this project, make sure to comment down below and then we will create a backend for this project as well. So make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. So I have opened VS Code and I have created a folder named Medic. Now open your terminal and we will create a react app using this command npx create a react app. Now wait until the react project is successfully created. Okay, so this process has been completed successfully. Now let us clean up some files. I will remove these unwanted files app.test.js, index.css. Okay, so app.test.js, logo, report web by vitals, uh, setup tests. Let me delete these files. Also, let me remove all the pre applied styling here. And in app.js, we will remove this one. And let's call it hello world for now. Okay. Let's remove the styling as well. In our index, just remove these things. Okay, what else is there? Let me remove the logo here. Okay, now in our public file, we don't need these things. So let me just delete them for now. And in our index.html, okay, we can write here something like medic landing page. Hit save. Okay, let's close all of this and let's go back to app.js. Now we are going to make our web application using React.js. Now let us start our application. Now in the terminal, simply write npm start. This will start our React.js application, of course. Alright, so this is our application. As you can see, hello world is written there. Now let me just go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay, let me uh, remove this class name. We don't need this one. And we are going to start by creating our navbar. Alright, let me just remove this div as well. I'm just going to wrap my app in fragments, right? These are called React fragments, by the way. Okay, now first thing is that in our source folder, I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it assets. Now I'm going to store all my images in here. Okay. So I'm just going to copy paste my images folder in our assets. As you can see, all of the images are uh, here. Great. Now you will find the code for this video along with these images in the uh, link in the description below, right? It is a GitHub link so that you can easily fork or download the code for this video. All right. Now let us get started by building our navbar. Firstly, in our source uh, folder, I'll create a new folder. Let's call it components. Now inside our component, first one is going to be, of course, a navbar. So I'll create a new folder and I'll write navbar. Now inside navbar, I'll create a JSX file. I'll call it navbar.jsx and also a CSS file. I'll write navbar.css. All right, now for our navbar.jss, for our navbar.jsx, I'll write refce. This is a shortcut to get our React snippet. Now, here we don't need this import React. I'm going to import our CSS file. So, I'll write navbar.css. All right, now we'll go into our app.js, and here we're going to import our navbar component. So, I will write a uh, navbar and as you can see it automatically will import hit enter and there it is now hit save let's go back to our browser to check and as you can see it says navbar but if you notice here as you can see there is some pre-applied css as you can see we have some gap here 
so we need to reset that right so i will go back to visual studio code now inside our index.css i'm going to write some pre-styling for our html document margin will be zero border sorry not border i meant padding will be zero and a box sizing will be border box okay so let us save let us go back to the browser and as you can see the default styling is gone the gaps are actually gone great let's go back to visual studio code all right now before starting with our navbar i am going to go to app.css and i have already selected a font from google fonts so i will just copy and paste it here so this is open sans all right and now for our html body i'm going to have a font family of open sans and the fallback font is going to be sans serif hit save let's go back to browser to check and as you can see the font has changed let's go back to visual studio code and now let's finally start with our navbar that will be enough for this video you will find the github link in the description below you will also find the links to other videos of this project in the description now in the next video we will build the navbar component make sure to like this video share it with your friends and i will see you in the next one